afternoon. This is Joel Espinche for HHS Daily News. Here with me today is Mr. Mason Miller, Mayor of San Felina Vista, a city located off the Pacific coast of California. With a population of 225,000 in the year 2163, San Felina Vista is one of the fastest growing cities in the world. Mr. Mayor, thank you for being with us today. A pleasure is mine, Joel. Thank you. I understand you've brought a model with us to show us today. Yes, I have. San Felina Vista is a large cluster of small villages. Each village is designed to be a lifelong community. Everything a resident needs is within walking distance in the town center, with apartment living above it. Two to three story townhouses and luxury suites circle the town center. Shops are easily accessible to citizens of all ages and physical conditions. On the model, we are highlighting New Hope Village, Falcon Heights, and Redwood Forest. Here with us to talk about some of the technologies and practices used in these three villages is Mr. Eric Bailey the city's head engineer who has played a big role in the growth and development of San Felina Vista. Thank you, gentlemen. Perhaps the biggest contributions are the disaster-related, LEED-certified, bioengineered building products designed and manufactured in San Felina Vista's research center and manufacturing plant. They are called Bamboo Chlorophyll Biosystem Forms, or BCBF, Webtype Matrix, and Vital Green Bioblocks. BCBF is essentially an organic, free-form, structural tension product originated from genetically engineered stalks of bamboo. These stalks are joined together by our second product, web type matrix, a fiery tartan ionomer coated over the stalks of BCBF to create exterior walls. When walls are put up using BCBF, they will become rooted into the earth once again as a living plant reaching a maximum of 80 feet. What do you do about fires caused by the combustible material inside the buildings? In case of an interior fire, an intricate heat-sensitive sprinkler system is loaded with nanotube, an oxygen-only substance that will seal the oxygen atoms from the fire smothering it. After the fire has been extinguished, the nanotube liquefies and evaporates as a cooler. Vital green bioblocks made from recycled bamboo are configurable and stackable and use a byproduct from the city's waste management plant as a matrix. By controlling the amount of sugar, water, and pH in the blocks, the homeowner can change the color of the zone. San Felina Vista was built on a location prone to natural disasters, such as seismic activity, storm surge, and fires. How does the city protect itself from these kinds of disasters? To warn citizens, New Hope Village is equipped with technologies capable of detecting storm surge several days in advance. After the warnings, the building's nanofooters automatically elevate the building to a safe height above the water. To protect the buildings themselves from earthquakes, each of the buildings is equipped with a shock system, ball bearings in a large dish underneath the buildings, which absorb <coughs> shock. I didn't see any roads. How do citizens get around? New Hope Village is home to our public transportation magnetic levitation shuttle tubes. Lightweight, carbon fiber shuttles travel at speeds of 100 miles an hour through these tubes. The MLSTs, buildings, and other transportation systems are all powered by static electricity. This is collected by ion brushes mounted on each of the buildings in the city. Several of these brushes are mounted on top of San Felina Vista's space elevator. Everyone tells me I have to take a ride on the gondolas in the Redwood Village. Oh yeah. This system is a series of cables strung from station to station among the Redwood trees in Pacific Heights Habitat Refuge, with gondolas that glide slowly over the ground at about 30 miles an hour. It collects a good deal of revenue during the tourist season from visitors who want a great view. For private transportation, citizens can purchase personal transportation pods, which hover over the ground and travel at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour by using magnetic levitation. They are also powered by static electricity and can be charged at one of the many charging stations throughout the city. They are equipped with DNA hamper lock to prevent theft. Manual mode allows a driver to have complete control over his vehicle, but at a lower speed than turbo mode, which is a computer-operated system activated by voice command. Regardless of the driver's mode of choice, collisions with natural obstacles, buildings, and other pods are automatically avoided, thanks to strategically placed sensors located on the pod's exterior. For additional passengers or luggage, a possum attachment pods may also be purchased. Police pods have the ability to disable the magma field of a disorderly driver, landing the pods safely and quickly. For major threats and terrorist attacks, a robotic emergency liberation force is unleashed into the city, disposing of the threat while limiting casualties. The city has a highly patrolled detention facility. This correction facility offers its inmates a hope center, 
where they can learn the gospel of Jesus Christ and receive counseling. Due to the Hope Center, the percentage of repeat offenders has decreased significantly. That is amazing. Mr. Mayor, tell us about education in your city. The Head Start education system offers free education from K-12 through through the same cyber holographic headset used for communication throughout the city. Programs test students annually to assess areas of strengths and weaknesses and form a curriculum custom fit to that particular student's needs. Additional curricula may be downloaded for higher education. This results in citizens who are mentally equipped to learn from the world now so that they may thrive in it later. Thank you. For HHS Daily News, this is Joel Espenshade, signing off.